Uh, it's been a crazy experience. Uh, I went into meetings yesterday in Saskatchewan at a team meeting and then went to the border to get my work permit all sorted to be on Saskatchewan and then uh, got a call from the GM at about uh, quarter past five yesterday and said uh, I've got something I need to run by you in about 10 minutes if you're at the dorm so I said yeah no problem so, uh, and he came over and said well you've been traded to Calgary and I'm like oh okay no problems and, he's, and I said what's going to happen now he said they're going to call you I said okay so I went back to my room and um, Brandon called me and he said look when can you get out here? We're trying to get you on a plane at uh, eight at eight twenty, and I look down at my watch, and it's a quarter past six at this stage. So I'm like, okay, I gotta I gotta get moving a little bit here. So threw everything in the bags and raced to the airport, and then got in late last night after a few delays. But um, yeah, here and at practice this morning. So yeah, it's been a whirlwind experience the last 24 hours. What has the coaching staff here told you about the opportunity that you're going to get here? Oh, just come out come out here and play and, and kick kick your balls and and make it count because you never know what's going to happen. So. And it's good, like I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be here and to be playing for the Stampeders, it's unreal. How much do you know about the city? Very little, little little to none. Um, my really only experience with Calgary is watching the Flames play when I lived in Nashville when they played the Preds, that's about all I got. Uh, and But you do know Cody a little bit? Yeah, I know right? Cody reasonably well. Did you guys you grow up together? Or no, not particularly, so uh, when Cody was at Arkansas and I was at Cincinnati, uh, we had a mutual friend who was Cody's long snapper at Arkansas. Um, and we sort of like met up a bunch of times through him and I sort of knew him anyway through like the Australian Pathway programs for punting and getting over to the States. So we keep in contact a little bit here and there and he was actually probably one of the people that convinced me to give the CFL a go this year rather than do the whole NFL circuit again. So yeah, we've had a fair few conversations over the last six or eight months and never thought I'd be on the same team, but it's funny the way the world works. No kidding. So your path to the CFL Take us through that a little bit. Yeah, so I finished uh, up at Cincinnati in 2020, signed as an undrafted free agent with the Tennessee Titans out of college, played the preseason game there and was let go in August. Had, uh, I think, six or seven NFL workouts last year, bouncing around teams. Um, yeah, sort of didn't, didn't really get the opportunity or the looks in that I was hoping for and then was sort of, uh, was called that Saskatchewan had my rights in the global draft the year prior. And they sort of said, look, we'd be happy to have you, like, if you want to come up and give the CFL a shot. So I sort of waited up a bit and made the decision that, yeah, I'd like to come, want to keep playing football. It's the thing I love to do. So, yeah, so then I came up here and now I'm in Calgary. So it's, uh, it's been crazy.